So hey, what's up everyone? I hope everyone had an amazing week and welcome back and we're going to do something different. So I'm still busy working on neighborhood loot, but I wanted to still have an element of surprise in there somewhere. So I figured let's do a little bit of a unity tutorial. So we're going to make this cool looking planet and the tutorial is pretty easy. It's going to be fun to make this. So let's get into it. Go ahead and subscribe for more great videos like this one. Okay, so go ahead and create a project and I decided to call my project Life is Harsh because we're gonna try and turn this into a game or we'll make it a little bit of a series. So first things first, let's change the scene name and add some direct sunlight. Then we want to create a new folder. We're gonna call it Assets because we want to store all our assets in there. Inside the assets folder, let's create another folder. We're going to call this one planet because obviously <laughs> we're making a planet. Cool. So then we want to make a 2D sprite because obviously we're making a 2D game. So then in order to put our 2D circle into our game view, we need to add a new sprite into the hierarchy. What we're going to do there, we're going to center it with the reset and then we're going to put our circle on top of the sprite. And as you can see on the left hand side, there is our planet, or at least our little detail of it. So now we're going to make it a little bit more interesting. We're going to make it materials folder. And inside our materials folder, we're going to create a new material and we're going to name it planet. So this will be our core color for our planet. So just drag it onto there. It would have applied it. And now you can basically choose whatever color you wish. So I decided to go for a dark grayish kind of color because that's kind of what the moon looks like. And then we want to change the order layer. So this just basically is the layers that the sprites will be displayed on. So I want to move it to the top to create the outer layer. And we are just going to rearrange it to the top because Unity calculates from bottom to top in the hierarchy. So then let's create the inner layer. So let's just change this name to the inner. And this one is just going to be the, you know, to give it that depth feel. So the whole thing is a 2D shape. So we want to give it depth by using this cool little effect, a 2D trick, if you will. So then we're just going to change the outer layers size so that we can actually see it. At the moment, everything is still the same color. So let's create another material and name it our outer so we know exactly which one goes where. We're going to drag it onto the outside. It's still the same color, but uh, let's just change that quickly. So let's make it like a dark color and change the metallic up so that it has a really, really, really black, deep, dark look to it. Uh, the reason for this is because of how the lighting works. And then we're going to resize it slightly so that it looks a little bit of like an oval, but that's just to create a little bit of a cool effect to it. Then let's resize our inner because we want to see every single piece perfectly. And let's create an inner material as well. I'm going to name it inner as well so we know exactly where it goes. And the inner is on the 10th layer so it should be right in the front. So let's just drag that over and then let's change the color as well. So let's go for a little bit of a lighter color and that will give us that cool depth look. So you can change these colors to your heart's content as long as the outer layer kind of has a very dark color like a black look because that will give it that depth effect. So let's hit play and that's what our little planet looks like at the moment. Don't worry about the bluish background that's just the standard unity default but we're gonna go and change that blue color. So let's name this atmosphere. Okay, so now what we want to do is we don't want to make our atmosphere a circle as well because otherwise it's a square background so it's not going to look good. So let's make a new folder in our assets folder called environment and we're going to add a square sprite because square background. <laughs> So let's add another folder called materials. 
the reason why I do it this way is just so that we know that each uh, package or each folder has its own materials folder which is just it just makes it really easy to find everything and let's call this material atmosphere and then let's take the word planet out because it's actually got nothing to do with the planet this this is the atmosphere it's a standalone part of it uh, let's resize it to 18 so that we know that it can fill the outside and let's drag our square onto the circle now it disappears so just flip it in the X and then you can see our dark background so what we want to do now is go into our materials and drag our atmosphere material onto our square and then let's edit it a bit so we want to have that cool glowing effect in the background so let's set it to 0 0.8 in the smoothness and here you can just mess around. You can pick any color you want. I just like that really cool atmospheric look. So I went for a bluish color. Um, I, it's a, really a bit sharp. So let's just change the smoothness to about... Um, no, we don't want to... Yeah, I think that looks cool. So let's just set it to 0 0.9 because I'm kind of like a perfectionist that way. <laughs> it has to be exact. Or 0 0.85, that's perfect. It looks cool. Yeah, so there we can already see it starting to look really interesting. Uh, it just goes to show you don't need to work too hard to make something look really cool with 2D. 2D just, it's just really awesome. So let's create some craters. Uh, we're going to use the inner and we want to parent it to the inner of the planet because these craters, they're going to form part of the inside and we want more than one so we don't want it to get all cluttered so we rather just want to store it so let's create a new material called planet crater inner and uh, we're going to have a crater outer as well to give it that secondary depth look so let's move the outer to the top the inner underneath it and then we can start looking at that yeah so let's just create an outer material and then we'll change the color of it there cool so let's change the size a little bit because we don't want it to be the same size as the entire planet so <laughs> first of all let's change the inner okay let's go for a 0 0.5 maybe a little bit smaller yeah i think 0 0.3 would do we can see how the shape is going to change just because of the box drawn on the left hand side so don't worry too much about the coloring at the moment. So the outer just needs to be slightly bigger. And let's change the color of it. Yeah, I think like a dark blue. Oh wait, sorry. I'm actually changing the wrong one's color. So just control Z that. And then select crater inner. Sorry, not planet inner. Alright, so let's get that dark kind of bluish color. Yeah, I think that looks cool. Our outer needs to be darker again to create that depth look. So we can just make it black, that's fine. So now let's uh, apply our materials. Uh, so what the problem is here is our planet craters are not in the furthest layer towards us. So they're not all the way in the front. So let's just change that to 12 and 11. Cool. So now we should be able to just drag and drop our material onto it. And there we are. All right, and let's drag the outer one onto the outer. There we go. That already starts to look like a, more like an eyeball. So let's just change the color a little bit. So yeah, we want to have like a really cool depthy kind of look. So actually, I just want to try like a gray, maybe like a grayish color. Now that can kind of work. Let's just change the, the outer color. There we go. Let's make it really dark. Or black. <laughs> All right. Uh, no, it needs to be like a bluish. Yeah, I think maybe a, a darker blue would be cooler. Just try like a. Yeah. Yeah, I think that will work. Yeah. Cool. So now what we want to do is we just want to move it slightly off center. Just so that it kind of looks like a little crater. Yeah, let's just change that color again. Maybe it needs to kind of fit with the background color. So like that kind of cyan, cyan kind of color. Yeah, I think that looks cool. Like you just have that really thin layer of black just on the top left. So that it kind of looks like it's 
you know that depth effect so then let's move around and copy and paste a little bit so let's copy and paste that and move it down kind of looks like a little character now with two eyes <laughs> and let's copy and paste that again and let's move another one to the top left I think that would look cool yeah just underneath that that room yeah I think it kind of looks like a bowling ball now <laughs> All right, so let's just resize a little bit. They kind of look a little bit big. Uh, so just take the outers and you select this way by holding command on the Mac or control on the key um, on the keyboard on the Windows. And let's just resize them a little bit. Yeah, I think that's 0.25. Yeah, I think that looks kind of cool. Yeah, so let's just copy and paste that and make them smaller once again because we don't want them all to be the same color. So yeah, 0 0.15, well not 15, <laughs> my mistake, sorry. And then 0 0.1, yeah, no, maybe a little bit bigger. And 0 0.12, yeah, but then we just need to move it slightly, not too much. Almost there, yeah, we don't want to center it. Yeah, there we go, that's perfect. And then let's copy and paste that again and move it down. Yeah, there we go. So it's really starting to look like a moon now. Yeah, I'm happy with that, that looks awesome. So let's hit play and see what that looks like. Yes, that looks so cool. It really, I don't know, it just, it just looks really awesome. And it's so simple to make, it's beautiful, it's really beautiful. Okay, so first thing, let's change the atmospheric layer because we want everything to be ordered properly so that there's no problems. So uh, let's just copy the planet outer because now we want to make some mountains and we just want to make it the same color as the planet outer. So there's no point in doing a lot of work to do that. So let's just size it to actually make it three, three on the scale axis because we want to see very quickly what it's going to be. Let's make a triangle in our environment and on our mountain, just drag it out to the side and then drag our triangle over it. There we go, perfect. So it's between the planet and the planet outer, so this should just work perfectly. There shouldn't be any problems. So let's just center it and then we're going to move it up. There we go. That's it. So it kind of looks like a little mountain <laughs> so we want to create an empty so basically what we're going to do here is we're just going to make a mountain container because we're going to create many mountains so there's no real point to just having it run down the hierarchy so it's better to just store it in a bit of a container so now we're just going to use that oh so powerful copy and paste and then we're just going to move these little triangles around until we have a really cool looking a uh, little mountainous scene. Yeah, another one. Let's just rotate it a bit. There we go. Move it down. Cool. And like I say, you guys can mess around with this. You can put as many mountains as you want. You can put it all over the place. You can change the sizes. Anything you want. I just changed the size a little bit because I like a little bit of variation. And uh, yeah, let's move this one to the left. Yeah, there we go. I think that looks kind of cool. A little bit spiky. It looks kind of like a little character <laughs> with a, like spiky hair. But uh, let's just um, yeah, let's add one more. Yeah, there we go. Just a little bit off away from the others. Let's create another group over here. There we are. Uh, let's make that one a little bit smaller. There we go. We don't want any problems, so just make sure that the 
that all the mountain or the the triangles touch the the dark of the outside because otherwise when it rotates it's just going to look weird so let's just copy that whole group and move it over and then we can just press e to rotate them all oh yeah and if you didn't know how to move it uh, just press w to switch to the moving tool and e to the rotation tool just create another group there we go and uh, let's move it over there we are okay so there's a few we just have to kind of move around the place a little bit yeah rotate it's just we just want to keep the rotations uh pointing looks like it's pointing out of the planet because otherwise it looks like it was just copied and pasted and yeah i think that looks really cool let's just hit play yeah there we go that looks awesome yeah this is really starting to look nice now Okay, so let's shift select all of our mountains and put it into our mountain container. And then we just click the drop down arrow and there we go. It's nice and clean. I uh, don't know where that planet one came from. Uh, probably just pressed the wrong button, but let's just delete that. And there we go. Hit play again and everything should be looking perfect. Yeah, that looks really awesome. All right, so let's move on to some scripting. So first things first, again, let's create a folder. We're gonna call this underscore scripts because we want our scripts to be right at the top of our, in our assets folder actually, or in our project folder, should I rather say. And let's just call this planet rotation. All right, so then just double click on it and or whatever IDE you're using will open. So Visual Studio or Mono Develop, they work exactly the same. So first things first, let's delete our start function because we don't need that. This is going to be a really simple script. So we want to get the transform of this component. So this dot transform dot rotate, and we're going to put it in a vector three. The reason for the vector three is because we just want to change the z axis. So zero float, zero float, zero float, and 0 0.1. I think I said that too many times. 0 0.1 in the Z because it's X, Y, and Z. All right, so just press Control S after the script has been saved, and you will see it here on the right-hand side, so it has been saved. So now we need to create a new container for our planet because we don't want to put our script on every single component or every single game object we just want one so let's create a planet one we'll move it right to the top above uh, just underneath atmosphere sorry and move everything for our planet into planet one and let's close the drop down menu and there we go we have a really clean look and we can move our whole planet around so then we just need to add our script and there we go the component will find this game object because we used the this and there we are so then we can press play and that's what our planet looks like i hope everybody's looked really cool and if you were following along and you have a cool looking planet and you want us to see it give us a mention on twitter and let us see your awesome planet and if you liked the video, please like and subscribe. And let us know if you want to see more of these kind of tutorial videos. I think this was really cool. Thank you so much for joining. Cheers.